Hey there, Geeks and Geekettes. We've got a Suicide Squad DC Comics Multiverse figure, Rick Flag to unbox. Oh, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna hurt you. Really, really bad. So, I can't remember what year these came out. You might tell me on the back. 2016. Obviously, Suicide Squad came out. Nobody liked it. I kind of did. But I still wanted the action figures, so Mrs. Geek over the course of a couple of months, bought me the entire collection. Didn't realise that I was missing Diablo and Rick Flag. I didn't realise I was missing Diablo until yesterday. I thought I had him. So I've got Harley Quinn, the Joker, Deadshot, Boomerang, Katana and Batman. I've put the Builder figure, Killer Croc together. So now I'm going to unbox Rick Flag. And all I haven't done is the box artwork. So. On the top we've got the Suicide Squad logo and then for the adult collector, like my channel. And um, the languages, DC Comics Multiverse, sort of warning, don't eat this figure. The actual figure in the window display. On the side, DC Comics Multiverse, window display, Suicide Squad trademark. And on the back we have the multiverse. That's all in Spanish, I think. So you can translate that yourself because I'm not. Product shot of this figure, Rick Flag. Figures may not stand as shown. No shit, because mine keep falling over all the time. Subject to availability, colours and decorations may vary. So what they're saying is, your figure won't actually look like that. So you've got your figure and accessories there. More boring shit there. And then the others in the line that I have with the exception of Diablo and we've got Rick Flag from the movie shot there Suicide Squad Rick Flag Suicide Side Squad logo again and there's the bottom of the box and Mattel have recently lost the rights for the licensing for DC figures it's gone to McFarlane Toys and I'm quite excited for that because of McFarlane's posability with his figures, um, the articulation, etc. I don't, I'm not into Fortnite, but I've seen videos of the articulation. I believe that's the base articulation he's going for for these for his new multiverse figures. And it it has to be better than these because these figures they're so hard to stand up. So, accessories, we get a pistol with China written on it, That's some sort of machine gun, a knife, and I'm guessing that's some sort of grenade launcher. So let's get him out of the plastic. One thing I'm thankful for, no cable ties or twisty ties, I hate those things. So, Rick Flag does come with a gun holster, so I can probably put his pistol in there. Or I could if it fitted. Oh, it does fit. Obviously, not going to display him with the pistol when he's got this. Let's just hope he holds it properly. Um, no way to store his knife, or is there? His knife actually has China written on the blade in big letters. So stored the gun and the knife in positions where it doesn't say China on them. So let's have a look at the actual figure itself. Now the head sculpt, um, no, doesn't really look anything like the actor. There's a passing resemblance like much of the other figures. In fact, I think the only one that actually looks like the figure is Captain Boomerang and Will Smith. The others, not so much. They even got Harley Quinn wrong. But his bulletproof vest or ballistic vest, that's pretty cool. His weapons do slot into slots. He's got his sort of combat trousers on with his knee pads. His boots and boot tread. Sort of pockets, everything you'd sort of want from 
a figure in combat gear. He's obviously got his sort of utility belt there, the rear of his stab vest or ballistic vest, and the back of the head sculpt. Although the head sculpt is off, the paint app on this is actually pretty good. There's nothing major standing out to me. There's a few missed bits on this piece. It looked like there was on the glove on camera, but not in hand. So articulation. Of these figures, the heads don't tilt at all. And there's a very, very little turn in the head because this collar restricts movement. So the arms rotate 360. Lift out this far. There is a bicep swivel. Only a single hinged elbow that doesn't even bend 90 degrees. There's no interchangeable hands with this, so you're stuck with the grip in hand. There is a wrist swivel, but no hinge. Nothing in the forearm. Uh, the other arm's exactly the same. There is a ab crunch doesn't move back hardly anything I only moves forward this much because there's a weird shape to it and obviously this vest then hits the belt this belt is a separate piece but it is glued on so you can't really move that around there is waist swivel no waist crunch legs kick out <coughs> Each leg kicks out at a different angle, and they've got these odd cuts. There is a upper thigh swivel, a single hinged knee that only bends that far. That can't be right. Yep, it only bends that far, because in the back of the figure, they lock up. There is no ankle pivot or, or rocker. Oh, there is a rocker, but there's no pivot, there's no turn in hinge, there's no boot cut. So, quite limited articulation really, uh, much like the other figures. This one does look like he'll stand a bit better because the Harley Quinn is on sort of high heels and she just will not stand. I've had to rest the back of her baseball bat against the wall to stop her falling over. So I'm going to get this guy posed up, maybe bring some of the other figures down alongside him and we'll have a closer look. So, there's Rick Flag, sort of posed up as I can get him without him falling over. This hand at the back won't actually hold on to this foregrip or the actual weapon. His other weapon I've given to Deadshot because he only came with a hand pistol. But he does stand up. Um, now Harley Quinn, I've obviously had to balance with baseball bat against the wall because those feet will not stand up. So there he is with the rest of the lineup. So the Will Smith bust isn't, or the Will Smith look isn't too bad. Harley Quinn, not so great. Killer Croc is cool. Rick Flag doesn't look too much like him. Katana, that looks pretty good. As does Captain Boomerang. Batflet looks okay, but he's in an awkward position. That's the only way to get him to stand. And there's obviously Leto's Joker, who, facially, it's not great, is it? And the way they've sculpted his feet, because he's not wearing shoes, he's also, like Harley Quinn, doesn't stand up. If I move this a little, it's too heavy to move. So there's the Suicide Squad lineup. Uh, if I get Diablo, this is this set complete. And for comparison, we've put him next to Marvel Legends Captain America. And I think the difference in quality is night and day between these figures. Both articulation and paint apps. This face sculpt is probably my least favourite of my Marvel Legends. Doesn't really look like Chris Evans, but it's still a lot better than these. Guys, this is my review of the Multiverse figures. Um, now they're on offer and you can find them cheaper out in the wild. 
they're worth sort of building up a collection with. Yeah, um, they're not as good quality as Marvel Legends, so I'm glad that McFarlane has got his hands on these. Now, I know McFarlane's sculpts can be hit and miss for facial wise, they're not quite as good as the Legends, but McFarlane's posability on his figures, like Fortnite figures, which his multiverse figures are going to be based off, they look far more sturdy, far far more articulation. I think there's 24 or 22 points of articulation. They'll have double hinged elbows because none of these multiverse figures have double hinged elbows or double hinged knees. The articulation is quite limited on them and they are a pain in the ass to stand up. So guys, that was my review of the Rick Flag figure and a quick look at the almost complete collection. I need one more figure. And that's done. So now I've got to try and get all these back over there without knocking everything over. So I'll see you guys soon for another review. Goodbye.